Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have my hair back, so you know what that means. It means I have another foundation review. So this is the ever popular, ever famous Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So they used to have an old one that is um, more matte and it smelled like paint and I used to have it and I got rid of it because I couldn't stand this smell and the way it was so dry. So when they came up with the dewy, I was kind of excited. So this is the Photo Focus Dewy Foundation by Wet n Wild. And we are going to try this on and I have the shade Carmel. So if you want to see how this color Carmel and this foundation bears on me, keep on watching. So I haven't seen many brand people do a review on this. This is a very affordable um, foundation. And I got it online for about five bucks, I think. I got it through the Wet n Wild, um, Wet n Wild site. And it's very affordable. So if it works out, that'd be awesome. So the packaging looks like this. I'm not sure if you guys could see this. And when you open this up, it has a spoolie like that, which I don't mind. I like the way, you know, it applies and I don't have to get my fingers or my hands or anything dirty. So I like the fact that I could put it on all over. Um, and it's only I am going to be only using this so I don't really have to worry about germs and all what, whatever. So as usual, I am going to do one side with sponge, the other side with a uh, brush and we'll see how it goes. So I have my skin care done already. All I'm going to do is put a little bit of no pore blem uh, foundation, I mean not foundation, um, primer. And the only, the only reason I want to do that is because I think just these portion, I have a little bit of an enlarged pore, so I just like to kind of blur that out. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to use any primer or anything like that. I just have my basic skincare the way I would do it and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna do this side and I'm gonna use the sponge on this side. I think I have a lot on. So I am going to read what it says on the Wet n Wild website about this foundation. Dewy Foundation, a weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear. Silky and creamy, coverage is easily buildable and medium to full. And it easily transitions from day to night wear. Ideal for normal to dry skin type. This moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs in perfection, imperfections and helps minimize the appearance of pore for a perfectly smooth dewy finish. Available in 20 cruelty free, gluten free, talc free and vegan free shades. Ultra lightweight moisturizing formula delivers buildable coverage and a long lasting hydrating glow. So that is their uh, claim. So this is how the foundation looks. This is the side that I have with the sponge and compared to the side that I don't have. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. So as you can see this is the foundation side and this is no foundation. So foundation no foundation. So I think it's a very nice finish. Um, I only put one layer 
and it looks like it gave me enough coverage. I don't like a heavy coverage, a full coverage. This is exactly how much I like it. So one layer gives me my liking. So, and plus the shade Carmel is so perfect for my skin tone. So I am between NC42 to 43 or 44 if they have it. So if you are in that range, Carmel would be the best bet for you. So let's go ahead. I'm going to see if it's buildable and give myself another layer. So this is the second layer and it is buildable and you know this is a little too much coverage for me but you know it is buildable it looks really nice it feels dewy like they say and it feels like a moisturizer actually and I don't feel like I have makeup on so it's very nice and I really really like the finish because it gives you a subtle glow and I love the color and I love the way it blends really fast um, and I don't think I think if you set it a little bit since it's dewy I don't think it'll be that much of a transfer so let's go ahead and see how it applies with a brush I'm gonna put like about the same amount by the way it covers my under eye circles or the darkness pretty much also so I really like that so I'm going to use my real techniques brush foundation brush brush usually gives you a lot more coverage So the brush gave me, the first layer gave me the same amount of as two layers on my other side. So it gives you more of a coverage with your brush. So I think it's really nice. I love the finish. I love the way it glows and I love the color. So it's a beautiful um, foundation. Let's see if it smells like the old one. It doesn't it smells like a slight little nice like a uh, fragrance which is really nice so they did get rid of that paint smell so that's really good so I think my first impression is it's really good it's only five or six dollars and it's drugstore so you could always get a coupon to buy one get one free or 50 percent so that's a great deal and it applies really well the color match is good it uh, blended really well it i love the finish it covered all that i want it's buildable and i really like it so that's a go i'm gonna go finish up rest of my makeup and I'm gonna come back and see if I have, I had any problem applying any of my um, um, rest of my makeup and how it went on. I'll tell you that. I am not gonna do a wear test on this one because I'm shooting this really late. So I don't think I'm gonna have it on for too long, but I could put it in my description box later. You know, I'm gonna be trying out this foundation all throughout the week. So I could, if you are interested to know how long it lasts and um, how it worked, I could put it in my description box. Just comment down the below if you want to know, okay? So I'll be right back. So I'm done with my makeup. Everything went so beautifully. Everything blended really nicely on top of this foundation. I did a video on this look. If you want to know how I got this look, I am going to post it. This is from So Jaded ColourPop Pop Palette. So I have that coming up. Look for that video. Um, so I like I said the blush 
highlight everything went really well I thought it was gonna be very oily dewy kind of foundation but it's not it's just such a beautiful and it's not transferring I put a little bit of powder but it's not transferring so and I don't feel greasy or overly hydrated or anything but my skin feels nice and soft and I feel like I don't have any makeup on so I love that foundation so I could see myself using it all the time because it's very lightweight, you don't feel so makeup-y or cakey, and it gives you enough coverage, and it has such a beautiful satin finish. So if you wanna see how my makeup looks, my blush, my uh, powder, and the bronzer, everything went really nice, and my it, the color is such a perfect match. That's what I love. So I give this a two thumbs up and any foundation probably would last six to eight hours and I'm hoping this does too so I'm happy with that. I love love the way it feels. I give it a thumbs up so go try it. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you are an oily skin girl let me know how you like it but I could see that you will like it because it's not overly shiny or dewy, it's just comfortable. So I don't know if it's because I have dry skin, but I absolutely love it. Let me know and comment down below if you've tried it and what your opinions are. Also, let me know what kind of other kind of videos that you would like from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Share with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Help me out. I know a lot of you are watching and not subscribing. So please subscribe and turn on the notification so you will be notified when I post new videos. I hope you have a great, great day. Stay safe. God bless. Bye.